bright and shiny in the back lot from our tower cam. Good morning to you. How are you? Okay, we're talking about something with Dr. Shafu this morning that a lot of people may not be too happy about. So we're going to have to change up a little bit of our wardrobe. So we're talking about some of the favorite clothing that you wear every day and it could be harmful to your it, health. It could be, Heather. You know, one of the problems that we've seen with certain clothing that can be restrictive, it can really restrict your blood vessels, restrict the nerve endings, and there have actually been people that have been hospitalized from wearing the wrong kind of clothing for too long or prolonged period of time, especially, for example, skinny jeans, which a lot of people love to wear those. Well, the problem is there was a recent episode of a young woman who was wearing skinny jeans, helping a friend of hers move. She was doing a lot of squatting, a lot of bending over for hours. Oh, and wow. then she went to go home and she realized she had a foot drop. She couldn't move her foot properly. She tripped really? and fell, was in the dark for hours. They found her. She went to the hospital. She had a lot of swelling in her legs, neurological complications. These must have been some tight skinny jeans. And we have skinny jeans, jeans on one of our models here. So a lot of the jeans are different too nowadays. They I mean, are. this is a trend that's been lasting for a while. We yes. see hers have a little bit of elasticity to Which them. Which is exactly what you want, Heather, okay. because if they're if they're not, then uh, and certainly more of a cotton-like material, which it doesn't stretch. And if they're too tight, mm -hmm. you definitely can see compression of nerves and blood vessels. So you want to be careful. If you're going to wear these wear them for a shorter period of time and don't spend a lot of time in a squatting or a sitting position yeah and make sure that they're the right size yes regardless um, okay second I want to talk about this outfit right here so this is a romper yes. looks fine looks comfortable looks fine. loose good the, for the summer the, exactly Heather but the thing about rompers is they're a little difficult to take on and off so people tend to say well I'm not gonna take a potty break I'm just gonna wear this for many hours I'm gonna cut back on my water use well, the problem is you're more likely to get a urinary tract infection because you're not taking potty breaks so they're a little hard to get off so our recommendations are if you're gonna wear something like a romper you want to get out of that and do a potty break about every two to three hours don't limit your water consumption I will say I've had to do the the romper thing where you go to the bathroom with a friend to help so yes. they are really difficult, but it yes, good advice. I like that a lot. Um, heels, her so heels are very high they as well. Are, that's the other, the other issue is uh, the problem with the heels is a couple issues, Heather. One is that they're very easy to trip. You see that, that Jordan's got these long pants going up and down. Steps can mm -hmm. be, a, a, you know, a, obviously a health hazard. And the other thing is that it causes a lot of problems with ankle imbalance. Okay. So if you're wearing these for many, many hours, you want to be off of those for a while. Do some heel stretches, some, uh, uh, you know, exercises to strengthen the heels. Yeah, grab a pair of these bad boys. We know right. what those are in San so Diego. The flip -flops, <laughs> this is your dress uniform in San Diego, I right? like it. I like it. And they're great, but the problem with these, Heather, is that they can expose your feet to all kinds of dust chemicals and bacteria. So if you've got a little rash or something, a little broken ear on your skin, hmm. and you're wearing these you go outside, you're more likely to get a fungus infection, a bacterial infection, and there's no heel support. So a lot of times people that wear these all day long will complain of heel pain because there's no arch support. Uh -huh. So limit the amount of time you're in those. Okay, we've got to move on, but this right here is, is interesting. So don't wear last night's pajamas. Exactly. Why? Well, because they can be dirty. They can have some contamination in them. A lot of people, of course, don't wear underwear with the pajamas, and you're more likely to get like urinary tract infections. So if you're going to wear pajamas, throw them in the wash and put new ones on each evening. Okay, every night we're supposed to change yes. that. I would have never known that, but all right, I will take that advice and I will move on. Okay, so this summer you're also saying bathing suits. What do we need to know about so wearing swimsuits? So the important swimsuits? thing about swimsuits is, you know, we're in and out of the pools a lot, and the problem with a wet bathing suit, especially the bottom area, is there a great area for infection from bacterial infections and fungus infections. So certainly if you're going to get out of that pool, make sure you have a dry bathing suit. Mm -hmm. If you're in a bikini, uh, make sure the bottoms are dry ones. And make sure they're not too tight along this area here because it can cause chafing and irritation right. to well, the skin. And a lot of people just put on their cover up and they go to brunch or whatever. Exactly. So always it's good to a bring good a change idea. of clothes with you. Right. A big one for women are Spanx. You're saying Spanx are not the thing anymore, well, not to wear them? If they're going to be worn, again, limit the amount of time because Heather, what happens with the Spanx is they really compress the chest and the abdominal okay, so organs. Piece right here. Exactly. Okay. And what will happen is that uh, they'll all, the compression organs causes more reflux and pain. So oh. if you're going to wear something like that, maybe wear it not quite as tight and for a shorter period of time. Okay. And then lastly, we have um, one of our models in a pair of leggings. What's wrong with leggings? I feel like you're going through my wardrobe. Everything know, right? I'm wearing, you're saying don't wear it. Exactly. So the leggings are great. But the issue that a lot of women and men do, but especially women, are when they're going and working out in the gym, they'll take the old ones off, and they'll just hang them up, you know, leave them out, and then they'll wear them several days in a row. Well, the problem with that is that they'll get a lot of moisture in there, mm -hmm. can trap bacteria, and then what happens is if they're wearing these frequently and they're rubbing against the skin, they can irritate the skin, break the skin down, you can get a folliculitis or a rash. So 
put those in the washer every day, put new dry ones on. Okay, you went through our summer wardrobe, making sure that we're all safe and healthy, right. Dr. Shafu. Thank you so much for always Good coming out My with pleasure. us. Brad, we're going to toss it back to you for now. Time now for your morning.